Being emotionally reactive, six techniques to be in control. Control your emotional reactions. This video shares why being emotionally reactive requires applying six techniques to be in control of your emotions. Here's a couple of examples of what emotionally reactive means. 1. Whilst driving, you experience road rage, whether it's yourself or the other driver. 2. Someone says something to you that you find offensive or threatening, and you immediately respond in kind by engaging your mouth before your brain. Can you relate to these or anything similar from your own experiences? Please leave a comment in the comments section below this video. And if you're serious about watching this and other videos on our channel, please subscribe, and then kindly click the grey bell icon to be notified of future videos being uploaded to the Natural Health Guys channel. Here are seven typical characteristics to being emotionally reactive. 1. People are flooded with feelings and emotions all day long. 2. Often, when we see or hear something we don't really like or that goes against our values, we can react abruptly. 3. It's an unconscious delivery and already in motion before we have a chance to exert control. 4. This type of reaction causes much more strife than it's worth. 5. Being held captive to our emotions is a slippery slope. 6. Emotionally reactive people oftentimes have outbursts with their loved ones, friends and work colleagues. 7. Lacking control is a weakness that's unhealthy for the mind, body and spirit. So, whilst you may not be able to undo what's happened in the past, there are skills you can develop on both an unconscious and conscious level. It's not easy to control your emotional reactions, but it's worth the effort. Being emotionally reactive is a hindrance to basic communication skills. Today, it can be hard to interpret the meaning and tone behind texts and emails. Being emotionally reactive requires applying six techniques to be in control of your emotions and reactions, as follows. Number 1. Inquire, don't accuse. Usually when an emotionally reactive response is about to take place there's either an unintentional misunderstanding, or one simply feels attacked. So, before the reaction, ask questions and get clarification. Be curious about the true meaning or intention of the circumstance. By assuming that you already know the answers is dangerous territory, remember, assume makes an ass out of you and me. It could save you face and prevent an apology later. Number 2. Remember, it's not always about you. Taking things personally is an emotional trigger for many people. It's usually centered around low self-esteem and ego battling for control. Before reacting, take a deep breath, count to 10 and decide if this is really about oneself, or if another person is dumping their own emotional baggage. Sometimes people have bad days, and those bad days come out as bitterness and hell-raising outbursts. Number 3. Lighten up. When the mind is uptight, so is the body. Take a few seconds to relax your posture, facial expression and heart rate before responding. A lot of people, when feeling threatened, cross their arms and grit their teeth. So, try some deep breathing exercises or visualize a calm and soothing place. This simple technique not only loosens up the body, but also gives your brain time to prepare an alternative response. Number 4. Validate the other person. When heated discussions arise, the easiest way to reduce the tension is to validate their stance. Use compassion and empathy to achieve an understanding of their perspective. Accept that you aren't going to always agree with everyone else. Take the time to thank someone for their input, and refrain from immediately attacking their opinion with phrases like I appreciate your theory or I understand what you're saying. It's impossible to argue with someone who agrees. Number 5. Is it worth it? When we're emotionally reactive, we simply aren't thinking. We're just reacting. Consider the circumstance or the person evoking this emotional turmoil. For example. A. Is it worth it? B. Is this person worth it? C. Is this important? D. Are the consequences worthwhile? Many times, overreacting is second nature and repercussions aren't considered until it's too late. Losing control rarely outweighs clear thinking and deliberate responses. Number 6. Write it out. For some, the best defense against being emotionally reactive is to write things down in a journal or as a pros and cons list. 
When the emotions are in black and white and looked at over and over, it becomes easier to identify and reframe an untoward response. Before quickly replying to a text that makes you angry, create a practice text and hit that backspace key over and over again until the perfect reply is formed. Summary and Conclusion We aren't in control of another's intentions, we are only in control of how we choose to interpret things and our responses. Perhaps the best part of reframing responses and avoiding emotionally reactive retorts is in the change we initiate in others. When people are treated with respect and feel understood their disposition is much more pleasant than when they feel under attack. This brings us on to the next video in this series of Secrets of Emotional Health, on how to overcome emotional sensitivity. In the meantime, we hope you found this video. Being emotionally reactive, six techniques to be in control, helpful and of interest. So please feel free to share with people you think will also find this video worth watching. And don't forget to leave a comment or ask a question in the comments section below this video. To get more videos like this one, become an exclusive subscriber of this channel. By clicking on the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of this video. And click the grey bell icon to get notified of when the next video is uploaded. If you'd like more information about the secrets of emotional health, check out the other videos in this series by clicking on the end screen coming up. And finally, many thanks for watching.